That's definitely not in the middle, is it? This video is sponsored by a me. I'm sponsoring my own video. I have something to plug today. Amazing. So for those of you who've been paying attention to my videos, I have been teasing on and off sick mate merch and i am happy to announce both of these t-shirts will be available tomorrow monday the 11th at 7 p.m gmt just some quick information about the t-shirts they will be 25 pounds each it's the best way to support me i'm doing this youtube team full time now so trust me i appreciate every single purchase these will be available internationally so it doesn't matter if you're from the uk usa anywhere in the eu i've got you covered these t-shirts will be available on sickmate.com i'm pretty sure they take all forms of payment so from paypal to visa and there'll be 48 of each t-shirt ranging from small to extra large a little bit of information about these t-shirts the whole theme behind it was like modern titans modern giants that kind of thing which is kind of why i liked the idea of mixing greek statues and modern culture so you've got Michelangelo David with his SoundCloud face tattoos and of course you've got the have a nice day lady on the white t-shirt what is she doing is she thrifting is she reselling who knows but that's basically a rough overview of the t-shirts I'm super happy with how these turned out and I can't wait to get these out to you tomorrow so 25 pound each international shipping sickmate.com it's all there and with that selfless plug out the way let's jump into today's video so of course you're gonna catch me in my own merch for the rest of the video but enough about that let's talk about sick fits so the very last time we spoke about sick fits was last year and i set up the next theme of sick fits to be winter outfits now here in the uk the weather has been all sorts of madness it's been raining it's been snowing it's been doing all sorts of things to the human body so now is the perfect time to get some winter outfit inspiration get that layering inspo normally with sick fits they are big lengthy episodes i do 10 outfits and honorable mentions plus all of the fluff and episodes tend to come out not very often so i've decided that i want to do sick fits a lot more frequently and the best way to do this is to cut down the top 10 into the top five think of it as sick fits light i just wanted to make the episodes a little bit shorter a little bit easier to manage i hope you guys are on board with the idea now if you're sitting there and you want to know how do i become a part of sick fit how do I submit the outfit? How do I become a part of the community? It is very, very simple. At the end of every sick fits, I announce the next theme. So today's is winter outfits and the next episode will be something completely different. And to send in an outfit, all you have to do is send an email to sickfit at outlook.com. In the title of the email, just sort me your Instagram handle. In the body of the email, attach a high quality picture of your outfit and leave some details of your outfit, like what brand of t-shirt are you wearing, what trousers are you wearing, what shoes are you wearing, all of that good stuff. Press the send button. I received that email in an instant. Technology is amazing, big man. So enough with a waffle. I think I've taken up too much of your time. Video starts here, comment. Let's move on to the first outfit of the day. So the first outfit of the day is brought to us by Reject Bedwood and my man is wearing a Laura Ashley trench coat, an Yves Saint Laurent thrifted shirt, Comme des Garçons trousers and Belmain H&M boots. So the one thing that really drew my attention to this outfit was the fact that we have a trench coat, big man. Do you know how hard it is to make a trench coat look good? But my guy does this effortlessly. He's got the trench coat on. It's got a nice cream, light beige color to it. And how does my man decide to style the trench coat with an all black attire. Everybody knows my affinity for all black clothing, but this, in my personal opinion, is great use of black clothing. It definitely balances out the light beige trench coat. There is definitely a lot of beige going on in the trench coat. It's quite overpowering. So you need something just to balance it out a little bit. Something that is equally as overpowering in its own right, all black clothing. It's very noticeable. It draws your attention away from the trench coat a little bit. It holds its own. It breaks up the outfit a little bit. It does its job. Furthermore, I am a really big fan of these boots. I think the trench coat and boots combination go together really nicely. You've got the beanie on top as well, details matter. All together, a solid, stylish outfit. I really like the use of these statement pieces. I like how he's balanced the outfit out. It's simple, it's clean. There is a lot to love about this outfit. So thank you for sending in your fit. Moving on to the second outfit of the day. The next outfit of the day is brought to us by Atrant. Atrant? 
At Rant, it's up on the screen, big man. So firstly, we have an Octagon Oversized Thermal Knit, Thrifted Vintage Ralph Lauren Chinos, Reebok R96, an Alix style belt from Amazon, Thrifted Vintage Chanel Pendant, DIY belt accessories, a unique clothes Sherpa jacket, and DIY Thrifted belt accessories. Let's talk about this outfit. So the one thing that I really like about this outfit from the get-go is the brown white beige combination, very strong. Color blocked to perfection. The Sherpa jacket is my favorite piece at first glance it just sits very nicely it does an excellent job of being a standout piece without being too overpowering there's room for the other clothes here big man the white t-shirt is a white t-shirt you can never go wrong with a white t-shirt it's a blank canvas for your accessories and that's exactly what my man has done here zoom and enhance big man csi style the chanel pendant my man laura croft tomb raider thrifted this artifact and it looks very very nice as a pendant as a trophy low key tucking that t-shirt into the belt nice seat belt looking belt alix studio style is that how you pronounce it i've probably already been slewed in the comments but that's looking very very nice we've got the wallet chain adding little details there to the trousers and of course the trousers themselves looking super sick i love how beige they are magnus running would be proud of you big man and of course the reebok r96s i think these trainers look really good trainers and trousers can be very hit and miss as i know myself self plug check out that video as well but i think this really does work they stand up with the trainers but they also blend in with the color all together all of these pieces complement each other really really well all the accessories work nicely as well a subtle flex there with the chanel pendant all together a nice solid outfit this one is also very very clean so thank you for sending in your outfit moving on to the third outfit of the day next outfit of the day is brought to us by cameron holmes 414 represent those numbers big man and my man is wearing a guest tee urban outfit of jeans a corduroy jacket and sean wotherspoon shoes Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that really brought my attention to this outfit was the entire picture in general. This is a sick location. It matches really, really well with the t-shirt. And of course the t-shirt complements the shoes as well. There's a lot going on here. Outfit wise, I'm absolutely in love with this guest t-shirt. So many colors going on here. It's very 80s, but at the same time, we've got a modern look with the jacket on top of it. The jacket smartens up the entire look, plus five charisma. The jeans look quite nice. Are they slim fit, big man? Cause they look really good. And of course the Sean Wilder spoons are a massive flex. But from a style point of view, they really complement the guest t-shirt. They are a really nice pair of shoes. Definitely one of my favorite 90s sevens slash air max ones of all time i'm a big massive fan of vintage style you probably already know that by now so something like this i can relate to and appreciate it's smart it's simple it's clean but at the same time it's oozing character i mean look at all of those colors on the t-shirt on the wotherspoons even the location of this picture is complementing this outfit very very well done with this outfit thank you for sending in your fits moving on to the fourth outfit of the day Next outfit of the day is brought to us by Scarlett. So, Scarlett is wearing an orange beanie from Target, in brackets, the kids section, a thrifted jacket, a Burberry button up shirt, a white waffle knit top, Forever 21 necklace, a sheen belt, rough coat pants, and the Chuck Taylor 70s mad let's talk about this outfit so the first thing that i really like about this outfit is the use of layering you've got a jacket you've got a button-up shirt and a t-shirt that is three layers big man three layers deep i'll be honest the flex with the burberry shirt really did catch my attention but that's what it's there to do it does its job quite effectively tucking the t-shirt into the trousers get a nice belt going on there the rothko trousers look very very nice actually i are they comfortable? Because if they are, I might actually pick up a pair because these look really nice. You've got the green Converse there as well. They are a little bit of a standout piece, but they do belong in this outfit. You've got green in the jacket. You've got white and black. You've got orange at the top. So a contrast of green does this outfit wonders. This is definitely a really nice street ready outfit. You can literally throw on these clothes. It's effortless style and I am all here for it. And of course, it's all really baggy. It's super stylish. It's baggy boys for life. I'm a big massive fan of this outfit. You did an excellent job here. So thank you for sending in your outfit. But wait, before we move on to the last outfit of the day, I just want to throw in some complimentary honorable mentions. I got a lot of submissions for today's sick fits. You guys did an excellent job. So here they are. What you've all been waiting for the honorable mentions
And those were the honorable mentions, big man. Moving on to the last outfit of the day. So the last outfit of the day is brought to us by a man like Brandon. And my man is wearing a thrifted white polo, a Nike oversized sweatshirt that he bought from Rooks and Rivals. That sounds like a very interesting Depop page. Maybe we should check it out sometime. A H&M oversized puffer jacket, Kappa track pants, and the Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year editions. Mad. Let's talk about this outfit. First thing that I like about this outfit, the shirt jumper combination. That is a really sick look. Classic dress up your sportswear. The H&M jacket looking very, very nice. Is that checkered, big man? Sick. We've also got some very nice accessories on the top of the collar there. Subtle flex, subtle details, makes all the difference. Bottom end of this outfit, we've got the Kappa track pants. Socks tucked into the bottom, controversial look. I admire the bravery. And of course, these Air Jordan ones look so sick. Definitely a nice standout piece an excellent way to complete this outfit. The one thing that I really like about this outfit is that it is classic streetwear, classic sportswear. Nike, Kappa, Jordan, but of course it's winter time, big man. You've got to have that puffer jacket. This looks like a super cozy outfit. You can tell that my man is not suffering the elements. Layered up with the polo shirt and the sweater, plus five coziness on the jacket. Kappa track pants, maximum mobility, plus five speed. Why am I talking like I'm creating a D&D character sheet? My man just does bits. I'm a big massive fan of this outfit. There's a lot of subtle details that I like. I like the whole top end here. I like the collar and the accessories combo. I like the polo and sweater combo. This whole area here is sick. I'm still not over Kappa track pants. They look super sick. These Air Jordan ones are absolutely insane as well. Puffer jacket is doing bits. Cozy boys for life. Thank you for sending in your outfit. And that was today's Sick Fits, big man. I just want to thank every single person who submitted into Sick Fits. If you didn't make it into today's episode, don't you worry. I will be leaving an image gallery of every single fit submitted. You can find that in the description down below. Also, I'm going to be launching the Sick Fits Instagram page as of next episode. So please be aware when you submit your outfit, it could be featured on that brand new Instagram page. Let me know in the comment section which one of these outfits was your favorite. Did you like any in the honorable mentions? What winter outfits have you been wearing recently? And for anything else fashion related, ask away because I read every single comment. And it has finally come down to that time again. What is the next theme for sick fits? I've given it a little bit of a ponder and next week I want to see trousers. Does it necessarily have to be like checkered trousers or any kind of pattern? I just want to see what you guys do with trousers because it's becoming more of a trend recently and I just want to see your interpretation of the trousers look. Finally, if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, then please press that subscribe button and press the little bell icon as well if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. Sick Sickmate merch coming tomorrow, 7 p.m. GMT on sickmate.com. And with all of that fluff out the way, I will see you next Sunday. That rhymed. Bye.